In this video we're going to explore the Trammel Toy base top component and we're going to use a few drawings, some measurements, and some other modeling techniques in order to create in this part in Fusion 360. So as we take a look, one of the things we're going to look at is the Trammel Toy base top drawing PDF that will have some dimensions here. So the one thing that as we open the drawing up is it will provide some hole locations and everything as such. Some dimensions are missing that we'll need to fill in with measurements. And you can do that while utilizing a dial caliper, looking at the actual trammel toy pieces. And then the other part will also be, for example, to start off with, we need the overall um, size of our trammel part. So I've gone through and measured this, so we're going to see that the overall, I'm going to first sketch out a square that is going to be 4.25 by 4.25. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Fusion. I'm starting in a new design file. I'm going to save this in a folder, so for activity 132, and I'm going to go ahead and start out with a new component. With new component, I'm going to go ahead and call this base, and then dash, I'll put top. So then that way I know because there's going to be a top component and a bottom component. Within this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say create sketch now that this is active. And I'll select this part. Actually, so let me go ahead and finish the sketch. I'm going to actually delete this sketch that I just created. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click this bottom work plane that's laying down right here. So I'm going to click. From here, I'm going to go ahead and set up a the lower corner two point rectangle and draw this is going to be 4.25 by 4.25 and I'll go ahead and hit enter and this will set up my my base piece now the one thing I'm going to go ahead and do while I'm at this just to make this a little simpler is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a two point rectangle and I'm going to draw one here and then I'm also going to go ahead and take the line tool and go ahead and draw in the little rectangular opening and what I'm going to do in order to open this up, this up is I'm going to use the trim tool. So the trim tool is here is a little pair of scissors, and I'm going to click on this line to get rid of that. So that way that opens that up. The next thing I'm going to do is taking my dimension tool is I need to look at my drawing and see that from the edges it's 0 .406 from each edge, vertically and horizontally. So as I take a look from this edge to this line, 0.406 from this edge to here 0 0.406 and I went ahead and measured and got these measurements here this is going to be 1.25 and this is going to be 1.25 as well so you should have very similar measurements for this top part of up here from this line to here is going to be 0.5 from this top line down to this one will be one inch the width as far as how far as how far it goes in should be 1.75. So from here to here, that one worked out, 1.75. Okay, so as I go to set up, this is going to give me a pretty good start here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say finish sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click extrude. Now, I'm not going to choose this. I'm just going to click this part right here in the center, and I'm going to make sure this is not highlighted. This is a quarter-inch thick material, and when I extrude this, it's going to leave those openings there. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So now I have the starting of my base piece, and now I have to start looking at putting in holes. So I'm going to go ahead and say Create a Sketch, choose the top face, and I'm going to do this in a few different operations. I'm going to go ahead and go down to Create, and I'm going to choose Point. And while I've got this point, I can actually just click along and set up. I need four points right about here, and I'm just going to set these up. I need one kind of running underneath this little opening there, and I need another four points along in this corner, in the opposite corner here. And here's some of the measurements that I'm going to pay attention to. Is let's find our hole locations. So on 0.375 and 0.375 from each edge on both corners, and the distances between the holes are 1.125 by 1.125. So I'm gonna worry about these cluster of four holes there, and then I'll worry about this one by itself. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go ahead and click Sketch Dimension. Click on this edge. Click to the point. 
on the first point. This will be 0.375. And then from the top edge to there is also going to be 0.375. And then from this point to this point, 1.125. And then the same thing from here to here, 1.125. Now, to go through and to kind of make this a little simpler, I'm going to use horizontal vertical. So I'm going to click this point, and I'm going to click the bottom one. And what we're looking for is when those dots turn black, that means they're fully constrained. So if you don't have black dots, that means you need to keep adding constraints. So I'm going to go ahead and click this one, and I'm going to click this one. And then I'm going to click this one, and this one, and then and I'm going to click this one, and this one. So now I've got all four lined up horizontal vertical and they're set up in that quad pattern that's what I need okay I'm gonna follow the same procedure for this bottom corner go a little bit quicker and they have the exact same measurements okay and then horizontal vertical so I've got one that's black, this one will move, this one's going to move, the last one is usually the one that you got to worry about. So I'm going to do this one to this one, you got to do it twice. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and right click and say OK. The next point is the one up here by itself, so I'm going to go ahead and look at the drawing. It is 0.875 from the right edge and 2.875 from the bottom. So. From the bottom up to here, 2.875. From the right edge to that point, 0.875. And that will go through and locate our, whole, our points. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to say finish sketch, put this into the home position. To set our holes in there, I'm going to go ahead and click on create hole. And with that, I'm going to, under the placement, I'm going to choose the second option, which is called to do from a set of sketch points okay so from here I'm gonna go over to my model and I'm gonna go ahead and I know that six of these holes are the same, exact same size so I'm gonna click this one now these are pretty large so I'm gonna go ahead and change distance to all so that way it shortens it and then as far as the diameter I know there's we're 0.177 so I'm gonna change that diameter down here in the menu and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click the rest of these and these should look like so. So it should be these six. And I'm going to double check on my drawing. These are all three are the same size. And these three are the same size. And the ones in the upper uh, left hand corner of the little quadrant are going to be different sizes. Okay. So, but those are looking good. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say OK. So now that puts in three of the holes at the same size because they're all the same size and they're all going to be all the way through. Now, in order to bring back my other points, I'm going to go over here to the little drop down arrow and I'm going to choose sketches and I'm going to turn on the little eyeball for sketch three right there. I'm going to rerun my whole command. These two in the upper left corner, corner are now going to be a diameter. So I'm going to choose hit the drop down for the distance, say through all, and the diameter is going to be 0 0.23. And those are going to be just a little bit bigger, 0 0.23. And I'm going to go ahead and say OK. OK, this one here, the sketch is still, is still active, so I just got one more hole to worry about. I'm going to click hole. I'm going to click the last one. Go ahead and change the through to all. And this one here is just going to be an even 0 0.20. And I'm going to say OK. Now that I'm done with it, I can go ahead and go over to my browser, turn off my sketch. I'm going to collapse these little menus. And now there is my top piece modeled with the holes in it, in it that I need, just like what you should have in your hand. Last step will be to go through, I'm going to go to Modify, go down to Physical Material. And what I'm going to do here is you're going to notice in the resources, you need to download this MDF board JPEG file. So it's an image because the Fusion 360 library is missing an image of MDF, which is what material that you have for the Trammel Toy Base. So I'm going to click on that to download it. Put it and then, so I, or I put it on my desktop. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll down until I find wood. And then when I click wood, 
I'm going to go ahead and, zoom, and scroll down. We're, what we're looking for is called MDF, medium density fiberboard. I'm going to go ahead and grab that and I'm going to drop it onto our trammel toy. Now it doesn't really, so you'll see it shows up as being gray. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll back up here to the top. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say edit on this MDF, MDF. And I'm going to click the advanced button to expand this. Under appearance, I'm going to go down till I find under the parameters, there's a little drop down arrow right here. And I'm going to choose image. And from the image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose that MDF board image that I went through and saved. And I'm going to say open. And this is going to be what it looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and say apply down here at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and say, I can go ahead and close the menu. And there that will give you the MDF and hit close. That will give you the MDF appearance that you're looking for. So this video can